Hi, in this tutorial I will discuss about Jackson Exporter. Jackson Content Exporter comes with AEM and it export content in form of JSON. So else part of this tutorial I will be using this component. I am using this component for other Sling model related uh, tutorials. So let's understand what is this component. Uh, this component has first name, last name, uh, one checkbox one multi field with a single field and one multi field with a multiple fields so by this uh, component uh, so by this component i will dis explain in detail about sling model uh, jackson content exporter uh, so this is the sling model of this component which has a few getter methods okay so we'll make this sling model as a content exporter we'll modify this model to serve content as a service to third parties okay uh, so how do you make a sling model as a content exporter so first of all basic need is you you need to add a exporter annotation and ex apart from the exporter annotation you need to tell okay this is my component or the resource which you need to export for that you have to add a resource type property resource type uh, property in your model like uh, model annotation which actually define which is your component or the resource okay so you can directly use this uh, here itself I'm just I'm just defining as a static and then I'm using it that's a different thing so to make this sling model uh, is uh, so Jackson exporter or the content exporter the only property or the only thing is required you use a exporter annotation right and inside that exponent uh, uh, this exporter annotation there are two mandatory fields name and extensions so as I already explained name is whatever your uh, exporter so if you are using out of box jackson annotation uh, jackson exporter you can give the name as a jackson if you are using some customized exporter you can give that name so i'm using jackson only so i will use jackson exporter and, and uh, extension is uh, in which format your exporter uh, export your content to third party services so in that case jackson export in form of json so I will be using JSON and you are done this is the only annotation required to make this sling model as a sling uh, content exporter so uh, by using this all the getter methods whatever the getter methods you have in this sling model those will be exported in form of JSON okay so let's build it and see then we'll further see uh, more annotations okay uh, build is successful and how do you call that let's go till node till get the path till node okay and then use selector by default what is the selector model and use extension So if you see whole my content is exported in form of JSON books page title the whatever uh, the getter methods I had in my sling model those are uh, exported to uh, this JSON okay see the page title where's my page title just to make you understand this is my page title so whatever value this uh, getter return it will be exported to json and what will be the key as i already explained the name of uh, your getter method with the first character is a small okay so this is the format it follow okay so this model is my out of box selector so suppose you have a requirement you need to give your own selector you don't want to use out of box given selector for that what you can do just add a uh, field called selector selector and what i'm giving here geeks let me deploy 
after building that if i reload this it give me model is not a yeah, selector because i define now i define my own selector geeks now it override your out of box model model selector so if i use here now let me add geeks so now you can use this way you can change your selector but take a one more scenario your sling model or the this Jackson container export all the getter methods but suppose take example you have already written sling model and now you are adding exporter content exporter functionality to, to this you do not have any getter methods you have a simple method called author name which is not a getter methods right so let me add that then I'll show you the use case okay so I added a method this author name which actually is not a getter method so this let let's see whether after deploy whether this this is available in my service or not so after building let me reload this if you see that author method is author name is not available here because that's not a getter methods right and you see one more thing uh, the property name is book detail with map suppose this this name does not look good for me so if I want to you know for this this data I want another name or a different name or a cust you know uh, developer defined name somewhere okay so how do we do that and how we can add a uh, non getter method to this content or uh, JSON let's see how we can do that so to do that we use a property called json json property okay and inside json property that's fine now you define okay this is my json property just export that but you you want to define a name for this value means you want to define a property for this how you can do that inside the json property use a value and give a name like author name okay and same way suppose this is my getter and this getter will be available with the you know key book detail with map suppose I want to change this name in my JSON or in my uh, content expo exported to third party the same way what we can do you can use the same JSON property okay and just change the name book books or you say the details okay books details if you see before i let me build it and let me show you the before what was the before this is the name of this property book detail with map and that content author is not available here content name what i gave you and let me build that after build okay build is successful let me refresh this okay now this content name content means whatever we return without a non getter method this we return am geeks and the property name we define author hyphen name this is available here uh, this author name this is available now right and also this name has been changed what we gave so now whatever the name we gave here that is available and non getter methods is also available now let's take example if you want to ignore some getter value so if you see here my request attribute is null this is null okay I don't want this value to be available in my content JSON so for that we have a property uh, called json ignore you just need add that property json ignore and this will not be available in your uh, json okay let me add that where is my rest, uh, request attribute okay this is let me add json json ignore so if you see this before uh, deployment my this uh, request attribute property available let me 
refresh it as as soon as i add the json ignore this property uh, is not available in your json so by that way you can add or ignore any any you know any content in your json which is exported to third party and you can give the name uh, a specific name if you want to change name then you can give using json property now let's take example here because these these are you know in simple uh, suppose i want a parent object for this right it's a if you see here all are written in one by one and suppose i want like these all properties should be under some you know object right you know json how it work right so for that you need means you need a root element for this in inside root you want these properties so how do you do that okay for that there is a notation called we have a notation called json root name okay inside this property you have to define the name of that object so under which name the all the properties will be means this property what will be the parent object for this right so what you can you have to give name like uh, author you can give anything right it's a, it's a string property okay let me build that after build now i refresh it there should be a, a, a object under which all these properties should come so let's re refresh it if you see i don't see any parent object right what i define like author details so now that options comes to into picture right if you see in a previous video i showed you few options here right as i told you it it alter the behavior of your output means your content so let's add that and then i explain what what is the use of these so i added this root node but why this root node it mm, is not visible in my output in my json so let me add that options options and to add a, a root element you should have exporter options by these options i was talking about these so by these options you can alter the behavior so now there is an option available serialization feature uh, wrap root value right under which so what it is defining it is defining under which root node or root object you want to define these values means of this exporter the value should be true by default it's a true so now let's build and see okay so build is done let me refresh it and see okay so after refresh you see the parent element is available now all these properties are under this so you can say the root root uh, object or something if you see raw data see all the data is under this uh, author detail what we define here here in this way you can add a parent a parent object or you can say that you can wrap all the content in a parent element so for that you have to define this you have to add this options so you can add any number of options as you need as per the your requirement there is out of box these options are available so i'll give you the link where the other options are available let's see one more example if you want to these properties suppose you let me json suppose you want to short these properties in order so for that there is a, uh, another option available if you are using uh, date or time related there is a number of options available here so i'll give you the links in the description you can go and check the options suitable for your requirement so let me add one more to short these properties okay so i added mapper feature and then short properties alphabetical and value is true okay uh, so there's two main uh, av options available serialization feature and mapper feature so you can just check the documentation for more type of these options let's build that 
okay so build has been done and let me refresh and let me see now it's not uh, shorted let me refresh this and see okay now the all properties are shorted in alphabetically order right so that's way you can use these options there are a lot of options available for these export uh, export uh, options you can use as per your need uh, I explain all the major or majorly use annotations checks and annotation there are many more uh, I'll give you descri description the link of the documentation you can go and check which suits your work but most of the your your work will be done by these two three annotations if you so if if you have any question or if you need to understand any other annotation basically it's all about annotations right you need need to understand which annotation you need for a specific purpose right so i hope you understood uh, json exporter uh, in next tutorial i will discuss about a custom exporter if you have any question related to this json exporter please do comment thank you very much